Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3 BF Tweaks. My name is Heiken and today we're continuing our Permer death run uh, where one death uh, would end the entire run. Death, death is dead is the name of the game. Let me just uh, talk you through what we're uh, doing last time. We have joined the Companions. We're currently on the second quest after we defeated a massive Spriggan. Uh, Wilkes and I will be going on to this quest together. Uh, I prepared a little bit by getting ourselves a silver battle staff just in case. Don't remember if there were undeads. We uh, still do have quite basic equipment. Uh, could upgrade that. Have a few potions uh, going for us. Got a scroll of fireball. And other than that, that's really what the character can do. Um, to recap, we do have a bit of uh, illusion magic going for us. And elsewise, we're a tanky uh, two-hand uh, wielding character. I hope this time that our orb can actually work out well. The enraging orb, that is. Um, we got blur running on us. So might as well give it a go. We should keep moving. I want you to make sure you're honorable. If you are honorable and strong, then I can call you brother. Very good, Parkus. Then let's join the dungeon and do some honorable brotherly stuff together. All right. Well, the first undeads are already here. Luckily, I got ourselves a silvery weapon. Not so lucky for us, we're overloaded, but there is a solution for that as well. Just gotta walk fast and use the time with increased carry speed. Thought that could be a skill book. No, it was not. All right, cool. We know there are undeads here. Be careful around the burial stone. Well, we got to be definitely careful with them. As you can see, I blocked it and it was still half damage. Draugers are not to be trifled with. Holy shit. You're making me angry. You can already see that he's going to carry this one. Gives us a good uh, understanding also where we stand in terms of power level versus undeads. And bleak fall barrows. Well, if he kills them, we're not getting any insights. Oh, well, we do. That is even better. Now I feel like a trickster or an imposer for basically sitting at the table with all of these great warriors and being not great at all myself. Can't do another one of these. Might as well take the battle staff for now. All right, Wilkus or Farkas. Let's go in. I'll do the dungeon and afterwards we'll do the cleanup. Oh, I remember this part very vividly. He will show us his true colors. For those of you who haven't uh, played Skyrim, I won't spoil it. Now look what you got yourself into. No worries, just sit tight. I'll find the release. 
What was that? It's time to die, dog. We knew you'd be coming. Your mistake, companion. Which one is that? Doesn't matter. Who wears that armor dies. Killing you will make for an excellent story. None of you will be alive to tell it. Oh yeah. Well, ain't that a surprise. And we got a lot of silvery weapons here. I hope I didn't scare you. It's a blessing given to some of us. Oh no. Eyes on we should keep moving. Still the Draugr to worry about. Fantastic. Silver great sword. I think that's what we are taking. Is this going to be an upgrade to, uh, for us? Let's see the swing speed real quick. It's alright. Good. I think we're going to take that one over the battle staff. It's a bit of a shame uh, that I bought the battle staff. Good, I think we got enough potions of cleansing. This guy even has vampire dust on him. Wow. So if we wanted to become a vampire, that's the perfect opportunity. I think I will sell that. Alright, we want to loot afterwards. Gotta stick to my own rules. Careful here. There are a couple of traps. And... I want to make sure that we're not getting grilled. Oh yeah, definitely more Draugr. But we're being the total gross that we are. Do not rely fully on on Falcus and fight our own battles. I got that dude. Why are you kill stealing? Well I shouldn't I shouldn't be mad about him. He's effectively carrying that entire run. He is super strong. Okay, just getting all of the potions, even greater insights, and a magic uh, axe of frost damage. Interesting, okay. I suppose these ones here do not have any loot. Good, but we wanted to loot later. <laughs>
I like those cleansing potions, but... Yeah, Master isn't going to work out. And most certainly not with our strength. Yeah, there is not a key here. Maybe we'll get one later. Careful. Oh, that was in my blind spot. Thank you, Focus. Well done. She, just as the others, ran right into it. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. Alright, we're certainly not equipped to deal with these guys yet. But at least it's not a one-shot. Okay, fair enough. Good. I vaguely remember there were runes on the floor. That dealt damage, but it might be a similar looking dungeon. Yeah, Adept won't won't uh, budge, not at the slightest. Good, more of them. Let them come here. Hopefully they fight each other. Yep, they do. That worked out well. They fought amongst themselves, killed each other. Fortunately, no armor upgrades. These guys do have fantastic potions and very, very nice weapons, but no armor upgrades for us. How many potions of cleansing do we have now? Eight. Well, that should be plenty. They are valuable. But we're also nicely out of time with our uh, for, uh, carry fortification. Which means for now... Let's drop the heaviest uh, stuff that we do have, besides armor, of course. I'll pick it up in a second. 
I don't want to be caught out during the fight without the ability to move. There we go. And there we go. Good. Plenty of loot. We'll come back for the sword. Oh boy. Nice crater inside, that's good. Let's see, can we already level up? I think we can. a few more points into restoration to get it to 25 all right cool well we still got greater points left over but i figured now that we're going uh, for the final room might as well improve uh, our help a little bit. Magicka will be improved soon as well. So, we got a perk to spend. I will save that one for Illusion 40. We have the new spells. And we need another one afterwards for heavy armor on that uh, side so that we can actually cast the spells. All right, let's give Illusion another push. We're at 29, okay, cool. All right, here we go. Nice little hit from behind, uh, Valkus. Thank you for the support. Oh no, don't just charge in, dude. That's a lot of hits against these guys. Not good. Uh, I need full stamina now. That was close. Frost resistance, yes please. to be caught from behind. Not at all. Secondly, I think we need to exchange our weapons here. We're exclusively fighting Draugr. Where's the corpse? Oh. Need, maybe need to go back in order to find a suitable corpse. 
But now Vilkis has already decided to go in deeper. Great job, buddy. Lots and lots and lots of potions here. Insights, that is. Vilkas is moving forward. Currently quite successful by the looks of it. Well, okay. I guess I was wrong. Taking the uh, the uh, key, but I definitely need a weapon upgrade. Can't open adept. Can't open that either. Too bad. Well, it shows you you should be much higher level if the average chest here is adept. Which kind of uh, supports my initial hypothesis that we're really just being an imposter on this quest. And I like the way that they did it with most of the chests because that's good. Uh, with uh, most of the chests, if uh, you can't open them and you don't get the reward, it's actually an incentive to do the level at the right uh, or the dungeon at the right level and not earlier. Of course, you can always play someone who maximizes lock picking, but I think that's besides the point. Okay, I'll need to find a better weapon. Okay, cool, back. So, we got... I need to chuck my other um, potion of carry weight, which allows us to at least uh, carry a few of the items. Um, what are we going to do? Resist piercing might be something, but we really don't need it that much. What we should do is buff ourselves as much as we can. Because there is going to be a really, really, really nasty uh, final fight waiting for us. Good, we got a silvery greatsword. We got our buffs running. That's as good as it gets. I am wondering whether or not I should really engage in that final fight. It's incredibly risky for a permadeath run. But then again, if I would only play safe, then it wouldn't be much fun to watch to begin with, right? So... Uh, let me just change the weapon here real quick. I have the poison loaded and I don't want that to go to waste. Little rats. Okay, pretty sure that we're nearing the area where it gets difficult. Last fight in particular is not to be trifled with. I wish I could heal Vilkas, but I can't. Oh. 
one more Draugr, uh, Draugr down. I think we have a few more spiders. Nope, Draugr. But we do have the right weapons, so just don't want to waste the poison at the moment, so might as well use that. It has a bit more oomph, not much more, but a bit more. And there we go with uh, the spiders. Gotta hate spiders, specifically if you don't have a lot of poison resistance. I like the idea that they have added poison as an element because uh, that just adds a little bit more depth uh, to it. Can bypass a lot of the armor and a few enemy types such as uh, the uh, Falmors or the uh, Frostsworn are using that quite frequently to huge effect. So careful here. If I remember correctly, there were no traps. Gotta switch to our other greatsword. I think we're good. Gosh, permadeath runs always get my blood pumping. I did a few offline, not so successful. This one here is going, relatively speaking, well. We need Falcus for the... Oh, there there he is. Good. So, we got a right, uh, the right uh, silver, uh, silvery weapon. That's good. We got all of our buffs. We got one scroll of Firebolt, just in case. Some magic resistance isn't bad. Healing completely full. And that's all we can do. Now this is going to be a massive fight of attrition. That's a great ring. Okay, we can't use that shout, unfortunately, we can only use this arm. Okay, here we go. Alright, first one immediately down. That guy wastes his time taunting, which is good. GG. No, no. Oh, we're making it. As long as Vilka stands, we do have a chance to do that. I thought the shout would have uh, ended us, but we actually did reasonably well with it. That's the problem with the show. All right, keep the DPS going. Draugr is a massive beast. Luckily, we downed him.
Oh no! Oh no! Do I have a surpassing? Remarkable. Holy shit, that was close. Alright, and now Wilkes is down. And we got to deal with whatever is going to be here. Alright, come on. Hit your friends. So close. I think we need more mana. Chugging all of the major potions now. He, well, that was a solid hit. Good, for starters, let's take that uh, sword. Burning oil, yes please. This one is enraged. Uh, enraged. Good. His partner got him down, and I downed his partner. And I thought it was over. I thought it was over. I was pretty sure it was over. Shit. Good, we're going to loot uh, this up and I'll be back right afterwards. Uh, mm. Going to finish the dungeon, loot everything up, and then we meet outside. Alright, we're outside of uh, the cave. Unfortunately, we're heavily overloaded, but I think I looted... One more fortify carry weight, which needs to be enough in order to get us home. We certainly cannot just progress with the quests, so... Uh, the companions yet we need to do some more leveling or other content because that was crazy that was really really close the one time that uh, I got hit and was pushed into the corner on the ground I actually thought we would die but thanks to our armor we only with the one hit that we took we only uh, got down and then I could block and push him, uh, push the Draugr back. So that was good. Let's uh, go and hand in the quest. We sold a bunch of stuff, really. And are now finally back with the companions. Come, follow me. Fantastic. We'll get the werewolf. Brothers and sisters of the circle, today we welcome a new soul to our mortal fold. This man has endured, has challenged, and has shown his valor. Who will speak for him? I stand witness to the courage of the soul before us. Would you raise your shield in his defense? 
I would stand at his back, that the world might never overtake us. And would you raise your sword in his honor? It stands ready to meet the blood of his foes. And would you raise a mug in his name? I would lead the song of triumph as our Mead Hall reveled in his stories. Then the judgment of this circle is complete. His heart beats with fury and courage have united the companions since the days of the distant Great Summers. Let it beat with ours, that the mountains may echo and our enemies may tremble at the call. It, it shall, shall be so. so. Well, boy, you're one of us now. I trust you won't disappoint. I see no. some take to it. Well, I grow old. My mind turns towards the horizon. I worry. Good. I think we're still getting the gift some very soon. Do. Yes, but you do. And speak to your if you want a better weapon than whatever that is. Skior says that I have the strength of Isgrimor, and my brother has his smarts. We've gotten. A I don't know what the fight is about. And that's not our bit. I just need you to go out. No more than that. I don't want to hear about a killing, understand? Try not to get carried away. Good. We need to intimidate someone. I think we can do that. We're relatively good at um, at speechcraft, thanks to Debella's blessing. So I think we're still not getting the we're still not getting the gift one more or two more quests. I've heard you may actually be stronger than you look. Aren't you already running a job for Farkas? Well, we can't Come talk to me. get multiple jobs. Farkas is, is the main priority. Hard muscle. I think we should be able to do that, but before we go for it, how about we are continuing to um, increase our skills? So we wanted to continue with uh, Illusion for now. It's more expensive as you can see, but we're also getting more points on average. So we're, we're up to 35. Out of curiosity, Some can people you? Don't think I'm smart. Those people. I'll show you what I can about protecting yourself. Five hundred uh, for a skill point. I think I'll pass on that. It's a bit pricey. Until next time. Okay, we would be definitely ready. We have enough healing supplies for another job. All we need to do is really go to Windhelm, so let's do that real quick. In case you're wondering, I make my notes. Windhelm is 250 gold pieces. Whenever I do the shopping tours, I deduct uh, the carriage that I would have taken. Good, so we got to intimidate the guard captain. Maybe that uh, ends up being a brawl. Either way, we should be fine. It's one of the easier um, quests to do. If we could maybe push it to level 9 slash 10, that would be fantastic. Okay, so we entered uh, the dungeon. Aya the Huntress is with us. I needed to get uh, a hammer. Basically after the transformation, uh, about three to four minutes of uh, footage are missing. I didn't 
to record them unfortunately we just killed a few of uh, the hunters outside but they hit incredibly hard and uh, worse even they were not taking any damage from us so i hope that this here is going to be better oh we, i can't even cast anything holy shit well Yep, as a werewolf, uh, we definitely need to invest in Magicka. Okay, apparently these guys... Oh, wow. Well. Apparently these guys are using paralysis. Let's try that outside. Gosh, if we get hit by paralysis, poison, then it's pretty much over. They are higher level than we. Much higher. I think we gotta leave. I don't see how we can do that. Yeah, that's not going to work out for us. Let's take what we can and just leave from here. Steel gauntlets, nice. But we already got them. Heavy armor book, certainly good as well. Let's level up, but that won't change anything really. I mean, smithing is full as well. I'm just trying to get more uh, points. We wanted to get uh, go with illusion, so might as well do that. Yeah, but we can't defeat them, not even on level 9. Uh, that's, it's nice to have a few more bits and pieces here, but well, it's just not going to change anything good we got two perks illusion is at what uh, we're at 36 good in terms of other perks that we could uh, use I think smithing is helpful equally starting two-handed axes would be nice uh, getting a proper axe um, because that's what we wanted to do at the end of the day. With uh, with going heavy armor 40 and getting that perk, uh, we would be the build would be online. It took a while, but it would be uh, semi online. This here would increase our damage, which wouldn't be too bad. The other alternative is going for uh, one point in enchanting so that we can at least recharge our weapons. Not a bad idea. I like uh, the general idea behind it. Another option is um, going for lock picking. Because if we want to do our Debella quests, we need to go through an expert lock. And uh, that either works via stealing the key, uh, which you can only do if you have, are perked into pickpocketing, or via lock picking. So, but that is a little bit later. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I think the 
most prudent uh, way here is to work with armor penetration and more damage. Um, 50 would be the next uh, higher perk. Yeah, these, all of that needs 50, um, which is fine. 40 heavy armor would be the next perk and in illusion it would be 40 as well so let's get illusion 40 then heavy armor 40 and then we should be good and we're just going to run away i was trying to weasel my way through the companion quest line but it eventually caught up with us and we need to do normal content first is there a way uh, to uh, go through that dungeon? Yes. Is there a, a realistic way to do that on a permadeath run? Likely not. Likely not. Alright. Uh, I'll look for a couple more bounties and we're just going to do that for now. Okay, so we made it to Falkrath, and believe it or not, we got <laughs> Ember Shard Mine, kind of the most standard location ever uh, to clear. I'll do that real quick, and then afterwards we go to Deep uh, Deepwood Readout, as both of these are still open quests. And I think uh, they are amongst the quests that we could reasonably do. So, off we go, in the direction of Ember Short Mine, be right there. On our way, we just discovered a small tower. I think this is... Oh no, that's a Spriggan. No, 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 no. But on the other hand, we got Aya with us. So that might be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to get that thing down one downside of us not completing the quest is air is going to be with us the entire time I don't want that but I can't send her away I could disable her via the console but that's essentially all Well, got a chest here. Not great, but okay. And I forgot to mention it, but I purchased with all of our gold the new armor in the hopes of uh, solving our mana problems or magicka problems. It's not going to be great, but it's okay for now. As an example, we take blur. Still not fantastic, but okay. Oh, such colors. oh, wait a second. That's a banded ambush right there. Might as well do that. Oh, I think I we cleared this out. Don't kill the horsey. There we go. Back to Ember Shard Mine. Good. Ember Shard Mine, the legendary first dungeon that most Requiem players would be doing. For us, fifth, uh, fifth hundredth dungeon. Alright, good. Well, if I would have fought uh, him at level 1 without equipment that would have been a completely different story but still, still manage our stamina well as we now have less uh, stamina to, to work with I want to try my magicka for once this is supposed to be a hybrid build Yeah, 
hit her down. All right, and now kill yourself. Cool. The magic works fabulously, and slowly but surely we're transitioning into that disciple of Debella kind of build that I was envisioning, but it took a while just to build it up. Good. Should be a, a quick clear. I'm trying to find content that is... Sufficiently challenging. Plus progresses us further. Ayla unfortunately trivializes this a little bit. Because despite that she's not as good as uh, Vilkas, she definitely can uh, kill those guys here. Even three on one. Good, got the mine key. Basically got everything. So I'm looking for content that is sufficiently challenging. This here definitely is not. Uh, we have out-leveled uh, this content. As you can see, if you're on the other side of uh, the fence, if you are too high level, then essentially the enemies will crumble. But what we need next is a weapon upgrade. Maybe a couple of perks in smithing. And we actually just need levels. Alright, bring it on. No one? Alright, good. She's dealing with that bandit. Careful, there's... Still an archer there. Good. Time to deal with the archer. Good. These were the ones uh, with the bounty. Certainly not the most elegant way of going about Ember Short Mine, but it'll serve the purpose. We're high enough level uh, to open all of the locks. And there is another important aspect. In Requiem you can't just smith whenever you want to do that. Uh, you need to have the right books and the right knowledge and that is not always easy to come by Well-made steel armor. Well, that's not bad Definitely a couple of uh, surprisingly good uh, loot items here This is a free skill book Uh, that oh that was uh, that was the skill book and the other one is uh, the free uh, free book that allows you to craft the basic materials. Of course, you need to invest the perk into smithing, which we're currently not going to do because we're just going to kill most of the stuff, get the experience, and then move on. But uh, mm, once the build progresses further, I will spec into smithing. For now, I'm just barely trying to make sure that we got all of our all of our spells and can cast them. So next stop, we're going to deliver the bounty, and then afterwards, uh, we're going to go to the next dungeon. Right, so, of course, we got interrupted on our way. A couple of Forsworn. You 
Yeah, the problem is our resistance against poisons has even gone down. Holy moly. Not sure if we would want to fight them. But on the other hand, having access to a mine might not be the worst idea ever. Two more, and we got Aya with us. Trying to not use her too much, but on the other hand, might as well, as long as we have her. Just gotta be careful not to get hit. There we go. Well, that was the experience. I think the game wanted to tell me don't use AR too much. And I promise we won't, but we need a new weapon. And then we can... Maybe with a few more levels under our belt, uh, go and do the next quest step. Good, so the name of the game will be... Stay calm, be careful. Wait for magic, uh, for stamina to regen. And first and foremost, don't get hit uh, and block all of their attacks. Fantastic. They're fighting one another. Well, so much for not get hit. Okay. Still the same old game, as always. This time, however, we do have a friend with us. There you go. A few potions just to refill our stock. Nice, they got good healing potions as a regular item. So, what are we dealing with? Apparently an empty mine and a lot of gold. Oh, I do understand why they were offering the 40, uh, 45 carry weight. Yeah, 
Yeah, we already got all of them. Good, let me sell the stuff and come back. Good. So we came to another cave that's on the way and I figured we might as well just check it out. But before we do so, let's get our illusion up to 40. Thank you. That is just what we needed. Next step, warrior skills. And we want heavy armor up to 40. Good. We're at 31. Oh yeah, nice. And we got a level. Finally level 10. So we're definitely going for Magicka because that's our weak point at the moment and we need way, way more. Adept Illusion. Yes, please. And what we want is... Hibernating Spray. And I wouldn't be opposed to Shadow Shield. Yeah, I think we're going with Hibernation Spray. Nightmare is great as well, but let's go with the Spray. And the Shield. Uh, discern uh, Vitals uh, would give us a buff. Shadow Stride is a Silence buff. Shadow Shield, however is an actual buff that uh, gives us armor. Phantasmal Pain is of the Phantasmal Killer uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, spell line, where at the end you can almost auto-kill anyone as long as they believe your illusions. Of course, higher level enemies have uh, a lot of resistance. Nightmare deals damage, but Hibernation Spray is a crowd control. Enraging Rune and Frightening Sphere are good as well and raging rune would be placing a rune on the ground and then when the enemy uh, walks over it uh, they effectively start to enrage so it's a different way of aiming it i suppose i would love to keep that other perk uh, for combat trance because i believe that our spells will be quite expensive Let's take a short look. So we got Hibernation Spray here. Clairvoyance. Uh, we don't need that now. Shadow Shield would cost 302. That's completely insane at the moment. Raised Armor Rating by 130. Empowering the spell grants immunity to most effects and increases the attack speed by 40. That would be fantastic, but I don't think that that is going to work. We still got Enraging Orb, and Hibernation Spray is, I think, again, way too expensive. So, Hibernation Spray, let's try that for a second. Yeah, it's not happening. But if we're just stopping to wear any armor... Okay, we could at least cast it. Is Can the same be said for Shadow Shield? Yes. Okay, cool. Well, that's a neat little trick. Because now we look quite badass. Look at that. Fantastic. Okay, so let's see how bad as we really are when we're going in there. Got a buff. Let's use some soup and a little bit of extra mana should be fine. Good, off we go. Oh, nice. More Forsworn. Air just finishes the job by herself. Forsworn are great opponents. Unfortunately for us, we are weak against everything that they are doing. So, and the werewolf form made it even more. Over here. 
But we gotta get rid of Aya very soon. Once casting improves, uh, we can do the next dungeon. I'm pretty sure, because uh, then our... Then our crowd control will help us to get through it. As it stands, can't really do it. And a weapon upgrade certainly wouldn't hurt either. Fantastic, we're taking all of that. Thank you. Alright, careful. This here looks like it would be trapped. Well, Splendon, we start right in the middle of them. There we go. Cool. Well, apparently that's the other entrance. We already got your loot, so what you gonna do? Huh? Good, we... We got, oh, to the um, position up here. Well, that is interesting. I have not done that particular dungeon in a while. That looks like a trickster. Good. Yeah, that staff is nice, but uh, we have outleveled it a little bit. I will destroy you. Oh, look at you. We're not even done. Well, how about you're attacking someone else? Apparently no one was there. Uh, that's a bit the downside of Enrage. They will enrage and attack the nearest target. Good, let's check what's up here. Can't really get in there. Distinctly remember, we can get in there once uh, from the other side. Okay, time to finish this. Petra, evil. Ah, you have a pretty stuff. Do you like it? Good, we don't want to let her live. We already know she's going to betrayers, but the Eye of Melka is a nice staff. What does it do exactly? Momentary focus on living target. This terrifying powerful staff will quickly leech the essence out of the fold. Ooh. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're going to try exactly that and see how it works. Uh, in the meantime, we're a bit over encumbered so let's use that and that and that oh yeah the boots good Ooh. 
Well, careful here. Pull her a little bit back. <laughs> Fantastic. Interrupted her attack and gave her the final blessing. Well, look at that. Instant kill traps. Although with our physical <coughs> resistance 920 AC, I might be able to get hit once, but we don't want to test that. Fantastic. As long as we don't get hit by their poison, we're actually doing okay. Aya seems to have gone missing, which isn't the worst thing because we can finally play on, on our own. Okay, are they fighting each other? Maybe, maybe not. Do we have magic resistance? Yes, we do. Time to eat one of uh, those. Alright, if they don't have their stupid poisons, which uh, the archers luckily don't have we are capable of getting them down quite easily yeah orcish arrows of shock wow that's a lot of damage right there is that a skill book yes it is good fantastic Still need to heal up. Not a hundred percent sure if we are going to be fine. Better chuck another potion. Our damage output is good. Very, very good. Nice. Illusion skill book. We were able to get the heck down in an instant. By the way, the werewolf also gave us a lockpicking deficit. So I think it was the worst combination for Debella that I could have chosen to become a werewolf. Because now it's even more difficult uh, to get the quest of Debella done. 
Do we have an... No, we don't have an ox scroll. Well, it is what it is. Carry weight. Yes, please. Wow, and I thought we would be in trouble when the archers were starting to pound on us, but slashing damage, specifically daggers, deal almost no damage against heavy armor. And since uh, some of our heavy armor is steel, uh, that means we even take less damage from slashing. The Nordic armor that we're wearing gives us uh, damage resist, which in a nutshell allows us to withstand the fireballs that were coming in. Another silver ring. Ayla is looking fly as always and I think this is pretty much it. That's the reward for doing the dungeon. And it's also a good time uh, to say goodbye for today. Let's do the level up and off we go. So I think the next big milestone was heavy armor, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, 31. Uh, I want to get that to... 40 as soon as possible we end up at 37 still good and a bit shy of uh, level 11 but that's okay we're eventually with the next dungeon going to get uh, there blind cliff cave has been cleared and we're off to deep wood, uh, wood readout next but before that, I think we're going to sell because we're almost at carry weight and I don't want to go uh, with all of those items in the dungeon. Eye of Melka is a fantastic find for us. I'm thinking about um, keeping the staff. It's one of uh, the unique items and the drain is helpful, specifically in tight situations against ranged uh, enemies. We likely need to get the warhammer or put the warhammer back uh, we do not have fire damage procs on it anymore so uh, we might need to skill into enchanting to also have an ability to recharge our weapons but that will happen after our next level we need another perk for that oh look at that we can even cast the lucid dreams but it costs us almost all of our mana okay well that concludes it uh hansa of uh, dibella uh, says goodbye for now he's uh, still well and alive and we're going to continue said run in the next episode take care guys bye bye